Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all well. I was just planning to get ready to go to sleep, but my guys were like, read, do a reading for Scorpio. Which is weird. Because I know that I've been, that I'm meant to be resting. So I'm like, what's the urgency, guys? Eight of Cups, got the green light on the TV. It's go time. Six of Pentacles. Heartbreak, past energy. Three of Swords. Regarding. Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords. Feeling like something didn't work out in your favour, like. Ah. Oh. It's like a certain change happened, either somebody left your life or something happened in the past that was a tower moment. A huge change. It feels like you know this happened whatever this was that changed or whatever left that it was in your favour it was for your best interest in your best interests you know that it had you trapped you know that it had you stuck that it had you defensive you know that this heartbreak led to you becoming a warrior in terms of your own life being able to handle certain things it strengthened your connection to your higher self to source it feels like being mad about it, knowing that there was an, an inevitable ending, that something had to end. Knowing that it was out of your control, that even no matter what you changed or what you fought, how much you fought to hold on to something, that it had been removed to you, removed from you. It had been removed from you, divinely removed. It feels like something you couldn't control, something you know that was out of your control. Having some kind of, it's like that thing of being angry at God, angry at your guides. It's because you know something happened. It's like you know why you had to lose something, person, place or thing. It's, it's like maybe some resentment or that thing of cutting off your nose to spite your face. It's like resenting, the, resenting this situation, this change. Where it's like, oh, if this is the case, then I'm not going to do this or do that in terms of... It feels like bargaining with your higher self, with source, with spirit, with whoever you connect to, whatever energy you connect to. Not being happy with how something went. So it's like self-sabotage. Because really, it's like moving on from this heartbreak actually is going to be for your own benefit. 544. Integrating something from the past, releasing something from the past, choosing to change something in the physical, to move forward, to move on. It's like freeing yourself from this. It's going to help for whatever this is that you're manifesting, these blessings. It's going to help for things to come in, to flow, for things to flow. It's like it's time for a new commitment, whether that's romance, business, whatever it is, the sun. It's time for a new commitment. The sun this is present energy the magician i was thinking if you're gonna stop me going to sleep at five o'clock in the morning there best be a sun card in this reading and yes that the hierophant the sun the magician of course i could have turned down declined the offer and just not done this reading but i, I kind of wanted to 
I felt it. I felt something. The sun, the magician, the hierophant, the fall on the back of the deck. He's like, there's no time for moping around. Do you see what's in front of you? <laughs> He's like, do you see what's in front of you right now? Do you realise who you are? Do you realise that certain past thoughts, certain feelings about the past, how that's distracting you from being in your glory? Like, Chill rest relax there needs to be some kind of it's that like you may be logically telling yourself something's over but emotionally it's not been dealt with something's been suppressed the way for this to come to the surface to let things overflow is to relax it feels like it would only take a minute for you to stop drop into the breath relax it may even be uncomfortable to relax if if there's been some avoidance of emotion it feels like as much as you feel like you want to do something even if it feels intuit that you feel intuitively guided to do something to work or to take action on something it feels like ordering yourself to have a day to rest even if that takes more discipline than being productive as much as you feel like you want to go and do something it's like you're being asked to sit to, to sit and feel. It feels like you've unlocked so many doors and there's a last door and it's like the key is not in taking further action. The key is in your feelings right now. It's like the feelings are going to spark an action. Releasing something, bringing something to light is going to shift the way you're doing something. Or it's going to bring a new energy to how you're doing something. The Nine of Pentacles. And as I take that half out and put it behind, we've got the star. Success. It's a very abundant energy, victorious. future energy the empress it's not been a bad thing that you've not been in a it's, it's not been a bad thing that you've been distracted or that your mind's been elsewhere or that you've been dwelling on some past emotion or feeling some kind of sorrow it feels like you've not been able to fully celebrate or really bask in some kind of fun because of whatever this past energy is it feels like as much as that's annoying that it's actually protected you from further deceit it's actually prevented some kind of tower situation it's prevented some kind of drama because it feels like you you've been even more selective about what you're entertaining because of how these past feelings had you because where how you was feeling about something Ace of Cups, yeah. There's a reason for everything, even the things that look like there couldn't be a possible reason for, understanding there's a reason for that. Maybe looking for the deeper meaning or just having acceptance that it's all working perfectly for you. You are moving forward now, something's changing. It feels like these feelings are about to change something that's weighed you down for a long time made you feel like you have to fight but that's shifting now the hanged man something's black and white something's obvious before we jump into yourself what's obvious ah uh, i did ask in my head first the world something's done with something's over it's black and white it's obvious something's over with Cycles ended, yeah, just to confirm that in case I thought I was getting too quick there without checking. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Ten of Wands the world. Something's over. 550. How you see yourself? Ace of Pentacles, yes. You know you've integrated something, you're moving up. 
moving forward. <sighs> Feeling at a loss. It's like things are reminding you of a loss in some way. It feels like certain ex certain situations, certain people coming into your energy, things that are happening. Maybe you overhear something on the TV, you overhear a conversation. Things that it's like you don't want to hear it. There's an example for myself. That thing of not wanting to hear a message. So when I do these readings and I upload them, like I'll listen to them, I'll edit them cut out if there's like some long bit in there or if I'm have to get up and do something it's like I'll just edit it so it runs through as smoothly as possible and for however many videos I've done like it's always just once maximum twice that I'll check through and I'll edit that and, and upload it and there was this one reading I can't remember who it was for but it was like something i didn't want to hear and when i was doing the reading like my energy was kind of like i'm delivering this message like it's an easy thing to do like the advice i'm giving is easy to implement and it just sounded kind of like throwaway like blase like, oh you just need to do this cut this off this happened because of this that happened because of that and i was listening to this reading for some reason for some reason it took like 24 hours for me to get this thing to upload it was saying there wasn't enough storage space it, it completely deleted my first edit had to start again but i knew there was space because i'd uploaded something bigger than that, that i'd got rid of it's like all these different things where i had no option but to listen to this reading from the beginning to the end over and over and over again it must have been about five or six times which doesn't sound a lot, but this was like half an hour reading of a message that I just didn't want to hear. And it's like, why don't you want to hear it? 52, yeah. Why don't you want to hear it? You don't want to hear it because it's uncomfortable because you know it's true. That's how it can come through. And the more I was listening to it, the more I was accepting it. And it's like the, I was getting irritated with even hearing the truth of something to see what something really was. My intuition was popping off and I knew it was for me, like indirectly. And it was just, it's just mad. And there's something about that. It's like situations coming in where you're hearing things you don't wanna hear. Someone says something and it may be nothing to do with you, but you know it's something that your intuition's telling you to do. Maybe you know you need to move house and you go in the coffee shop and someone's talking about the urgency of them moving. And you're like, oh, I don't want to hear this right now. Why? Because you know you need to move. Maybe somebody speaks about how they're being mistreated in a relationship and it makes you feel uncomfortable. And it's like, why? It's maybe something's not good enough in your relationship and you need to move forward. Or maybe you overhear someone saying how long it ta it's taken them to get over someone or gossiping about someone else that's taken it's taken them so long to get over a past relationship and what a waste of their life that is and it hurts because it's like oh it's taken you that long to get over someone it's like whatever's yeah <laughs> whatever's this internal conflict whatever's bothering you it's getting in the way of your money. It's getting in the way you're moving forward in the physical. Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like it's time to let go. There's new opportunity. There's new opportunities here. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. But it means letting go to create space for that. Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, The Will. to clarify outcome king of cups this is either a hope for love like a relationship for lovers queen of wands 
justice in your favor it's nine of cups this is a wish come true if it's not a relationship then it's something you love but this is death yourself you in your power the lovers nine of cups justice it's like you're successful in whatever this is you're dreaming about is coming in it feels like there's opportunities coming in something where you can expand something in the physical or create something build something it may mean negotiating you could meet somebody at a business meeting or meet somebody when you're working on something on a project something that's close to your heart something that you want to create that you're happy to work hard at it may mean networking. You could meet someone as you're networking. It feels like this meeting's going to feel... It's like the timing of this. It feels like you've waited a lifetime to meet some person and it's like they just turn up out of nowhere at the perfect time. And it feels like seamless. Like you couldn't have not bumped into this person. Like it was written for you to meet someone. That's how it's going to feel. So love hearts on the TV. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress being made. Scorpio. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. Life experience number 16. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunity. 111. Balance. Take everyone's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution take your time there's no need to rush embrace your true purpose begin a new adventure trust yourself the dreamer News worth celebrating, announcements such as weddings, graduations or births, friends that you cherish. The Emperor, use logic and structure to increase your success, get organised, a firm but compassionate leader. Powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. 3-3, three, three, number 18. Open your heart to love, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Just turned six and the wow just leaping out of the the water. It feels like <laughs> I'm seeing like a fairy spread fairy dust all over the place. It's like spreading your light wherever you go. Your own magic. Something's closed out. It feels like a burden. Something has been weighing you down. It's been draining your energy in some way, draining your resources. It's like you had to make a judgment call to come, to move away from something, to let something go. Something that was dimming your light. These changes are here, they're inevitable. It's something you've asked for, but it doesn't feel comfortable. It feels like once the change, yeah, 222, two, two, once the change is there, it's comfortable, but the path to create those changes isn't. This feeling's coming to an end now though. Things are being balanced out. 
bravo, it's time to take a bow. As everyone is so very proud of you and the progress you have made, recognise your own success as a way to reinforce just how powerful and creative you are. Like your fairy friend, you have the magic touch right now. Be fearless in choosing your next big accomplishment. This is a time to move forward in your spiritual development. Continue your journey along the path of enlightenment as it's also the path of joy. Our fairy from the dreamer card has made it successfully to the end of her journey. She wears a sign for infinity in her crown and on her shoes, indicating that she can now begin a whole new adventure if she desires. Additional meanings of this card, a journey that's now at an end, great achievements, new beginnings, the freedom to go in any direction, a sense of completion. The spider number 43. It's about an opportunity being right at the edge of your web. Something that might be right under your nose that you're not seeing. Maybe you think that something's not working, a project or something like that, but it's actually just something needs to be tweaked. Maybe something to do with the marketing. Maybe something to do with how you're running things. Something needs updating. Something needs changing. Maybe there's a better way of doing something. So you're being guided to see a better way of doing something. It's not about giving up. It's about adapting. It feels like taking a minute to rest. This is going to bring clarity. Even doing something that you see is not productive. Something that maybe won't bring you clarity. If you, it's like put on something you like to watch or... Go for a walk, go and see a friend. Actually taking your mind off of something. You know that thing of it's like when we when we forget something or we're trying to think of a name of something and we forget. That as soon as we stop trying to think of what it is, that it comes through. And it feels like that. Justice number eight. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. Number 15, Hariel. His religious faith is of a high order and he receives great illumination of which he is consciously aware. He has authority and extraordinary analytical intelligence and the power to invoke magic and combat materialism in order to improve human existence. Pure in feeling, he has simple but refined material and social values. He sets up rights and customs in order to contribute to the expansion of spirituality and organises associations, promotes conferences and works to bring about the legalisation of esoteric or alternative activities. 606. Possessing a strong sense of justice, he always finds the path he needs to follow. Planet Saturn. Reasons for invoking to obtain improvements in professional life, to attract the love and goodwill of those about us, especially among family members, to exalt religious feelings, to help us discover the useful and new. Page number 20. Moon in Pisces. Beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. Two, two, two. It's like continuing to invest in things and take action on things that help you to align with the future that you're creating, with the life that you want, how you want to feel in the present moment as well. It's like, it's all good to be creating the new, to be investing in the future. It's like, what's, what good is the future if you're not feeling good in the present? The time is right for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings and other social opportunities. 
I'm going to leave you there. If you to resonate, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you soon. Sending so much love.